Mixed conditionals. This is advanced grammar, and these sentences can be a little tricky, so I'm going to go through them slowly, give you a lot of different examples, and hopefully by the end of the lesson, you're going to have a much better understanding as to how you can use these useful sentences. And if you would like to get the lesson notes, click on the link down in the description. That way you can review and you'll have them and you can just continue to improve your grammar skills. So what are conditional sentences? Simply put, this is when we have an if clause, which is our condition, and a main clause, which is our result. If you subscribe to the channel, you will reach your fluency goals. This is a conditional sentence, and yes, I, I think it's true. I hope that you subscribe, turn on notifications, that way I can become your teacher. My name is Wes, the channel is Interactive English, and yeah, that's what it's all about trying to help you reach your fluency goals. So before we get into the mixed conditionals, I, I wanna go over all of the conditional forms. So let's start with the zero conditional. This is used to talk about general truths. The condition, we're gonna use the present simple, and the result, we're also going to use the present simple. If you touch fire, you get burned. If I drink coffee at night, I can't sleep. This is true for me. Or I could say, meet me here if we get separated. In this case, notice that I'm putting the result before the condition and I'm not using a comma. Now the first conditional is used to talk about a possible or likely situation in the future. With the condition, we're gonna use the present simple and the result, we're gonna use the future. If we work hard, we will finish on time. If you build it, he will come. This is a famous line from the movie Field of Dreams. If you build it, you will come. Danny, what was that? If you teach it, they will hit the like button. <laughs> I, I hope that's true, that if I teach this lesson, you will hit the like button. I could also say, the ship will sink if we don't fix the hole. Again, in this case, I'm putting the result before the condition. Now, with the second conditional, we're gonna use this to talk about a hypothetical or unlikely situation. With the condition, we're using the past simple, and the result, we're gonna use would plus the verb. If I were you, I would hit the like button. That is another suggestive hint using the second conditional. Or, if I were a boy, I would listen to her. You may recognize this sentence because this is one of the lines from Beyonce's song, If I Were a Boy. If I were a boy. If you want to listen to the second conditional, check out this song. It is full of sentences using the second conditional. Now, I could also say, I would buy a new car if I won the lottery. And yes, I think I would buy a new car if I won the lottery. The third conditional. We're gonna use this to talk about an imaginary or unreal situation in the past. So for the condition, we're gonna use the past perfect. The result, we're gonna use would have plus the past participle. Here are some example sentences. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam. I, I could also say, if I had known, I would have told you. And then if we put the result before the condition, I could say he would have come if you had invited him. So let's get into the main event. Mixed conditionals. These are a combination of two types of conditional patterns. I just went over all of the different patterns, but usually this is a combination of the second and third conditionals. So th there are two main types of mixed conditionals. But within each type, there is some another version that's closely related. Mixed conditional number one. We're gonna use this to talk about an unreal past condition and its probable result in the present. So the past condition, we're gonna use the past perfect. This is like the past condition in the third conditional. Plus the present result, in which case we're gonna use would plus the verb. This is the result in the second conditional. So here's an example. If you had checked the map, we would not be lost. 
Now, I added a little more information, hoping that that may give you a better sense of not only what's happening, but when it's happening. So I, I could say, if you had checked the map when we stopped for gas, we would not be lost right now. So I'm adding right now to emphasize that this is the present. And I provided you a little timeline down below, again, to try to, to help you get a better understanding, not only of what's going on, but when it's going on. So our unreal past condition would be that, well, you check the map. And then the present result would be like, well, we wouldn't be lost. And I can capture that with that sentence. If you had checked the map, we would not be lost. Let's look at some more example sentences. I could say, if you had taken the train, you would be here. Past condition, present result. Or if I had eaten dinner, I wouldn't be hungry. And yeah, generally that's true. If I had eaten dinner, I wouldn't be hungry right now in the present. And I could also take that present result and put it before the past condition when I say, I would have a new car if I had won the lottery. And yes, I would have a new car if I had won the lottery, but I did not win the lottery. So of course I do not have a new car. I wanna quiz you real quickly because it's just fun. I want you to participate in the lesson. You can write this down on your own, think about it in your head, or even write it in the comment section. I always love seeing people participate in these lessons because yeah, after all, this is interactive English. So how would you complete this sentence right here using this mixed conditional? You wouldn't feel sick, hmm and I want you to use the word medicine. So the first thing you need to decide is whether or not the first part of that sentence is our past condition or present result. Just looking at the grammar, I'm sure you know that the first part is talking about the present result. You wouldn't feel sick right now. So we need to come up with our past condition, and you're gonna use the past perfect. So to complete this sentence, I would say, you wouldn't feel sick if you had taken the medicine. We're talking about an unreal past condition and the probable result in the present. You wouldn't feel sick if you had taken the medicine. I wanna move into the next part of this mixed conditional, and I'm calling it mixed conditional 1B because it has some similarities, and really what we're talking about is an unreal past condition and its probable result in the future. So we're still going to use the past condition with the past perfect, but this time we're gonna talk about a future result, and we're gonna use would plus be plus the verb and ing. So as an example, I could say, if I had taken the job, I'd be moving to New York next month. I'm talking about a result in the future. And again, you can check out that timeline down below. Hopefully it'll give you a better sense of what's going on. Let's compare the two because you could use the same grammar when talking about either a present or future result. It really just depends on the verb because you're going to use the continuous tense with action verbs, not stative verbs. So look at the sentence with a present result. Uh, if I said, if I had finished high school, I would be a college student now. I'm not really gonna change this sentence right here and provide a future result because the verb to be is a stative verb. Now, the other sentence that could have a present or future result, I'm using would plus be plus the verb and ing. If she had said yes, that is my past condition, I would be getting married. Now, I could say I would be getting married right now to talk about this specific point in time, or I could say I would be getting married next month and talk about that future result. So in this case, I could use that grammar to either talk about a present result or a future result. So they are a little similar, which is why I labeled them mixed conditional one and mixed conditional one B. Now let's have a look at mixed conditional number two. And we're gonna use this to talk about a hypothetical situation and it's probable but unreal past result. 
So the hypothetical condition, I'm going to use the past simple. This is the condition in the second conditional plus the past unreal result, in which case I'm using would have plus the past participle, which is the result in the third conditional. Let's look at the sentence. If I were afraid of snakes, I would not have gone camping. You can look at the timeline to give you a better understanding that hypothetical condition. If I were afraid of snakes, what is the past but unreal result? I would not have gone camping. In this case, you know that the speaker is not afraid of snakes. Therefore, this person did go camping. They were just commenting on this hypothetical situation and what would be the past result. Let's look at some more examples. If she weren't injured, she would have played. It's a hypothetical situation because we know that she is injured. Or I could say, if they were slackers, they wouldn't have finished the project. Slacker is an informal noun referring to a lazy person. Once again, hypothetical condition, past unreal result. And if I take the result and put it before the condition, in that case, I could say I would have answered the phone if I wasn't in an important meeting. Once again, I want to quiz you on this mixed conditional. And I want you to complete the sentence using the phrase so busy and then follow that with I would have gone with you to the movie. You can think about it or write it in the comments. How would you complete this mixed conditional? The first thing you should do is identify whether or not that second part of the sentence is talking about the condition or the result. Just based on the grammar, you know that we're talking about that past unreal result. I would have gone with you to the movie. So you know that the first part of the sentence is our hypothetical condition. And we're going to use the past simple to say, if I wasn't so busy, I would have gone with you to the movie. Now let's have a look at mixed conditional to be. Again, there are some similarities. This is used to talk about a hypothetical future situation and it's probable but unreal past result. So we're using a hypothetical condition in the future. We're going to use the past continuous plus that past unreal result, in which case we're using would have plus the past participle. Look at this sentence right here. If my friend wasn't preparing a big dinner for tonight, I would have cooked something for myself. So the hypothetical future condition would be that my friend is not preparing dinner. If my friend wasn't preparing a big dinner for tonight, and then that unreal past result is that, well, I would have cooked something for myself. If my friend wasn't preparing a big dinner for tonight, I would have cooked something for myself. Let's compare the two so that you have a better understanding of the difference, which is a hypothetical condition in the present using the past simple and a hypothetical condition in the future using the past continuous. And keep in mind, we're going to use the continuous tense with those action verbs, not stative verbs. So look at that sentence, that hypothetical condition in the present. If she wasn't afraid of flying, she wouldn't have traveled by train. That condition in the present, to be afraid of something. It's a state of verb. I'm not going to change this and provide a hypothetical future condition. It would just seem really awkward. But that next one with the hypothetical condition in the future, if my parents weren't coming this weekend, I would have planned something special. So I'm using that past continuous to talk about a future condition. Now, I know I've given you a lot of information to, to take in, but I want to see how much you remember. I have a little mini quiz for you and I'm going to give you a situation and I want you to give me a mixed conditional that basically has the same meaning. So here's your first one. I do not trust him. Therefore, I did not hire him for the job. Take this situation and give me a sentence that is a mixed conditional and it has the same meaning.
So with this situation, there are two parts. There is a hypothetical condition and a past unreal result. So the hypothetical condition, if I trusted him, plus my past unreal result, I would have hired him for the job. If I had trusted him, I would have hired him for the job. Try the next one. Here is your situation. He did not take care of himself, therefore he is sick right now. How can we change this situation to a mixed conditional that has the same meaning? If we break this into two parts, we have a past condition and a present result. If he had taken care of himself, he would not be sick right now. Here's the next one. He will not go to Mexico with us next month because he wasted his bonus gambling in Las Vegas. Change this sentence to a mixed conditional. In this case, we have a pass condition if he hadn't wasted his bonus gambling in Las Vegas, followed by a future result. He would be going to Mexico with us next month. I have another one for you. Here is the situation. I am not going on a business trip next week. Therefore, I accepted a new assignment at work. Change this situation to a mixed conditional sentence that has the same meaning. Here we have a hypothetical future condition followed by a past unreal result. If I were going on a business trip next week, I would not have accepted a new assignment at work. Well done, I hope you did well on this mini quiz. You can let me know how you did down in the comments. And I know mixed conditionals can be a little tricky, but I think the more you look at some of these sentences, think about what's happening and when it's happening, it'll make more and more sense. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new, please hit that like button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. So long.